We're here over at the Children's Aid Dunleavy Millbank Center, which is a spot that you know really well. This was like an everyday thing. Like we was able to rehearse here, we danced here, we sang here. We all used to be up in Millbank like legit. What was your biggest goal at that point? to do music and to get my art out. I think that's what it is for everybody eventually, you know? That's what it's always been for me, whether I wanted to sing, dance, you know, wanting it to get out there mm -hmm. so you can inspire other people. Thank you. Look, I'm from Brooklyn. Okay. You know, no, you know no. Brooklyn and Harlem, we love each other, but mm -hmm. it's not so often we right. visit. So to be able to be here with you today, to be up in Harlem, I feel blessed. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? Like, Thank you for coming. Nah, Thank of course. I just want to talk about the neighborhood a little bit, right? Because historically, Harlem has been like this epicenter for art and culture, specifically yeah. African-American art and culture. And you growing up here and being the child of Harlem, when did you first realize that just the magic of your city, the magic of your neighborhood. When did it first dawn on you that you were coming up in a special place? I probably had to be about maybe like five or six. It was just, you know, five, you're very, very aware of like what's going on around you. You know what I'm saying? My Bobos, all the stores, Mart 125, right. you know, all the beauty supply stores, you know, like the McDonald's used to be right there. It was just a lot of different things that has been up there for years. Harlem has always been like dope to me. You know, what's dope about you as an artist, I mean, you write, you sing, you dance, you direct. It kind of embodies like all these creative areas. And I feel like the neighborhood really instills that. Like there's no boundaries when it comes to creativity. I've always naturally had that in me where I'm just like literally doing a million things at one time, like I'm doing right now, you know, but it's not something that always, that, that feels overwhelming in any type of negative way. You right. know, where it's like, oh, this is just too much because I'm so used to that pace. Flip, try that one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Five. You know, we're back here at the, you know, Dunleavy Millbay Center. And I want to know what keeps you kind of coming back to these kids because you were once one of these kids mm -hmm. in the sense of running around expressing and that's yourself. Exactly, that's exactly why I come back because it was something about Millbank where you could literally express yourself. You could be sitting right here on the bleachers and like they'll call a timeout during the basketball game and then the song will come on. You ain't have to raise your hand. You ain't have to actually come down. We just jumping off the bleachers and we getting it rocking. They embracing it. They know like, no, you sit down, you sit down, everybody, you know, cause you know how that go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's never been a hassle to express yourself. Six, seven, eight. Eight. Take that again. Yeah. Hey girl. All right, let me see. I think this convergence of when you take something from your past that meant so much in, in, in your growth, and then you're a part of this McDonald's is Beat of My City campaign, and you're able to really marry the, the two. So yeah. what is it like to be a part of Beat of My City and have that represented right here at Millbank? I really appreciate McDonald's for even like doing this with me, with choosing to collaborate with me on Millbank. That means you did your research and you know that this is where I used to dance. Like to be that supportive is like everything. And I already loved McDonald's, but that just gave them like the extra brownie points. This is really to genuinely give back. Like and, how can we help the community? You know what I'm saying? Like, support. yeah. And that was, that was really, really dope. Yeah. Bring it in, group hug. Come on, come on. Nope. Which hug? <laughs> okay. Us over here on the genius side of things, like we're excited to have partnered with you and to partner with McDonald's for this, yeah. this other component of it, which we call Annotate for Good. And that's the program where the genius community adds annotation, adds music knowledge to our site. What it does is it raises money. So for each annotation is representative of, you know, wow. a certain dollar amount. And you left an annotation on genius as well. Yeah in Rose in Harlem. And I just kind of wanted to talk to you about that. When you see fans interpreting 
your lyrics. Obviously, your lyrics mean so much to you, your music, your creativity. How do you feel when you kind of see people try to decipher you and stuff like that? I always get the goosebumps. You know, that always means so much to me because it really just shows that your hard work, you know, never goes unnoticed even when you feel like it do. Get up on stage and it's all these kids that are like crying with you, laughing with you, singing with you every single word. And it's just like, why would I want to stop? That keep me going, yeah. keep me going to know that there's people out there that I'm uplifting, you know, and that means the world. And if I'm out, I'm out here uplifting people, and I'm gonna continue to do that. New York makes some noise. Oh, you wanna get that? Come on, just like you bigger. Hey, wow, wow, wow. New York makes some noise. One specific song that you and new music and, and things of that nature. Is that album coming? Like, what's going yeah. on next for you, you know? Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming December 6th. Oh, sooner than, we, I didn't think it was gonna be that soon. Yeah. I, what kind of vibe are you going for? Just to just sum it up. Like on this new album, I've really been inspired by just the things that's been happening around me. Mm. Like seeing my friends go through certain stuff, seeing my friends going through heartbreaks, seeing my friends trying to find love, seeing my friends fail at love, seeing my friends cry in my lap. Yes, I'm in love. Yes, I'm happy. Yes, I'm a mom, but I'm also still a human being and I've also still have experienced stuff and I've been through stuff even before I found my happiness, you know? So I find a balance in singing about my happiness, but also singing about everyday struggles, everyday life, everyday things that are going on in our world today in real life that people could really relate to. That's what I want to keep giving. I want to keep giving those records like I'm still human. You keep being you because that's what makes us fans of you. So, Thank you know, we're going to be watching, we're going to be listening. Thank you. And, you know, I just appreciate you inviting us up to Harlem. And the Brooklyn boy like coming. myself. I appreciate you for coming. All Brooklyn, the way up on the three train, you know what I'm saying? Me. But it's cool. And um, we wish you luck in everything that you Thank do. You. And you always have support here with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I want all y'all to know that whatever it is you want to be in life, go for it. Don't give up. Please, don't give up. I've been grinding for so long. So long. And I'm finally really just getting my just due. And nice like this reminds me that I'm doing something right. I'm so happy that I can inspire you guys. And I just want y'all to know from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate y'all so much.